quite an odd scene really. Medieval technology, a town crier announcing the birth of William and Catherine's baby boy to the digital world. May he be long lived, happy and glorious. Once the royal easel had been displayed and the town crier was finished yelling, television reporters and Twitter passed on the news to the world. It's a boy, a new royal baby is born. It's celebration time in London with the news that Prince William's wife Kate has given birth to a baby boy. The details could be summed up in just a few words. It's a boy, eight pounds, six ounces, born at 4.24 London time. But that didn't stop reporters stretching out the news for all it was worth. But this boy will be a monarch of 16 countries. It will be Supreme Governor of the Church of England. It possibly will be head of the armed forces. It will be head of the armed forces. The news even reached London skies before too long, put on display at the top of the city's post office tower. Playful Twitter commentary carried on before and after the birth, from popular culture references to certain animal royalty to digs at the dad's heir and a Harry Potter reference for good measure. Also in the Potter realm, one jokes that the royal baby is in fact J.K. Rowling. Stephen Fry says his country is marvellously bonkers with their traditions. Another laughs out loud at the mix of old and new, with Britain using both a town crier and also a modern typeface to announce the birth. And whoever was at the helm of the Guernsey official Twitter account will be getting in trouble right about now, labelling Catherine and Prince Charles as the parents. Quite worrying given the island is part of Britain. The covers for Britain's Tuesday tabloids have been released. One publication in particular was in the best position for the ideal pun. The Guardian Australia is offering users an opportunity to declare themselves a Republican to free themselves of royal baby news. But if you are interested and can't stop thinking about that town crier, his name is Tony Appleton and he's available for hire. Currently he lists his biggest job as introducing the Lord Mayor of Westminster. Hopefully the award-winning shouter also has some web skills and can update his site when he gets home tonight. God save the Queen!